And we're learning more about the moments that led up to San Francisco's first officer-involved shooting is since last year. Police revealed new video of the confrontation to a packed town hall tonight. KPI X5's Joe Vasquez was there. It was standing room only here at Cesar Chavez Elementary tonight as San Francisco police held a town hall meeting following a recent officer-involved shooting. This is the first officer-involved shooting we've had since June of 2018. San Francisco Police Chief Bill Scott released new video of the shooting and the events that led up to it, including this surveillance video showing a man in a black jacket. Police say that's 24-year-old Jamaica Hampton, who police say attacked one officer and then another with a vodka bottle. One of the police officers ended up with lacerations to his face and neck. This is body camera video from one of the officers. Police say the other officer's camera was knocked off in the scuffle. As you can see, both officers end up chasing Hampton through the streets. One uses pepper spray, but that doesn't get him under control. According to the police, the suspect still has the bottle in his hand as he closes the distance between himself and one of the officers. Both officers open fire, critically wounding Hampton. Police say this whole thing started with a burglary on Cap Street near 25th, just before 8 o'clock in the morning on December 7th. A short time later, someone reported a man with a similar description breaking into cars on the street nearby. That's where police encountered Hampton. Tired of you spreading terror in the mission and anywhere else here. Some friends, family members, and Mission District activists expressed outrage over the shooting of a man who was struggling to get his life together. This is Hampton in a promotional video for City Team, a nonprofit that helps young people get through housing and substance abuse problems. I want to kind of get into maybe social work, a youth counselor maybe. But the fact of the matter is it's, it's, it's absurd to accept, to, to, to ask the public, to ask the community to swallow that there was no other possible outcome. As Hampton remains hospitalized, the district attorney today filed several charges against him, including assault with a deadly weapon, as well as assault on a peace officer. Joe Vasquez, KPIX 5.